Well, hello there. I'm Detroit, and today I was wondering what I was gonna talk about while you watch me doodle. And I figured, why not talk about the music I listen to while drawing? Because that's the thing, when a drawing takes me more than an hour, I don't just sit down and draw while doing absolutely nothing. Sometimes I watch uh, TV shows or animes and stuff, or even YouTube videos, but it's kind of bad because it takes me away from my drawing a bit too much. What is better though is listening to music. That's what I most often do. So let me tell you about the three albums I listened to while drawing this particular abstract doodle. The first of the three albums I listened to was the album Aqualung by the band Jethro Tull. It's not a band that is very well known, I found out. Because every time I talk about it with friends or people in general, I find that they have no idea what it is. So basically it's a progressive rock band. But in fact, I think it's kind of difficult to put a label on the genre because it has elements of hard rock, psychedelic rock, also a bit of folk, because some of the songs are acoustic, like with a lot of acoustic guitar. And I think what makes it really special for me is because of Jan Andersen. He's the singer and also the flutist. It's progressive rock, but there is flute and a lot of flute solos, which I absolutely love. Like incorporating an um, instrument which would be normally considered as a classical instrument into something very punchy like that is amazing. And he's really great at soloing too. So it alternates sometimes between guitar solos, like with a heavy distortion and stuff, and the most beautiful flute, also in a very punchy way, and I really like that. My favorite songs on this album are the first one, which is Aqualung, and the tenth one, which is Locomotive Breath. These two are really good, always get me going in the morning and they are really nice and really punchy. Whereas there are some other songs like Mother Goose and Wandering Loud, which are more calm and acoustic. So yeah, I highly encourage you to listen to this album, which is again Aqualung by Jethro Tull. I would love to put a bit of music in it, but for obvious copyright reasons, I'm not going to. Instead, I'll just show you what the album looks like on the cover. And yeah, please go go listen to it. It's a very old album. It's from the 1970s, but I really love it. I have to say that the three albums I'm talking about today are albums that I listen to a lot because my parents love them. And when I was a kid and while we were in the car, we always listened to a whole sorts of albums and the three of them are part of it. So that's why I love them so much, I think. All right, on to the second album now which is Manfred Mann's husband, Watch. Watch is a great album. And again, by an artist that is not as popular as others. So this album was released in 1978, if I'm not wrong. And it has seven songs. The first one is one of my all time favorite songs. It's uh, Circles and it's really nice. And if you don't know Manfred Mann, I heavily recommend you every single one of his albums from Manfred Mann and Manfred Mann's husband. I'm not gonna say much about Manfred Mann because you have to discover it for yourself, I guess. The only thing is I really love synthesizers, keys, and it's full of them. Manfred Mann is a great keys player and his music features heavily keys solos and it's just the most amazing thing ever. So again, here's the album, go listen to it. I'm really sorry I can't put the sound on for you, but please trust me, it's really good. Now onto the third and last album of what I listened to while making this doodle you're seeing. It's Super Trump's Crime of the Century. Now this one is a more popular album. Super Trump is really well known across the world. And this album, uh, which is one of my favorites by Super Trump, uh, was released in 1974. And it has eight songs and from start to finish, it's a masterpiece. The first song, School, is really nice and really well known. But my favorite, I think, might be the second one, Bloody Well Right. It starts with the best keys solo. It's a lot of solos and keys solos are really a thing that I love. I also really like the song Dreamer, and it's one of the most popular songs from this album, I think. And to finish it off, Crime of the Century, 
the song eponymous to the album which is really beautiful and keeps you going and again you can appreciate a really good saxophone solo from super trump so yeah it's a great album overall i have to say honorable mention to hide in your shell because it's a song that as a kid i absolutely hated and now the more i listen to it the more i really like it so good for you hide in your shell really good so yeah, that was it. The three albums I listened to while doodling. I would love to talk more about it and more about music in general because it's something I'm really passionate about. I myself play music sometimes, even though it's been a while. So if you would like to hear more about the music I like or even hear myself play, just tell me in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. I release a new video every Sunday, at least. Sometimes there's a bonus video on Thursdays. So stay in tune for more and I will see you next week. Bye.